What's going on, creators? Yeah, I just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and vibing with me for a bit. Yeah, today I'd like to give kind of a little update and um, kind of share what's going on with the handyman business for those that are interested, and also kind of bring you know some different uh, things I've learned along the way from expand you know this expansion process. You know, it's not all been um, high vibes and good times. You know, it's been the whole gambit of. Um, highs and lows a little bit of everything you know but really um where the difference is from like um the like the past you know uh way of thinking is not to sit there and dwell on the what ifs and the fears but you know when when like the bullshit drama resistance whatever you want to call this you know starts to manifest not to just sit there and like um oh i'm going to make up a story about it and try to justify why it's okay you know just really becoming more and more um accepting of when things feel like shit and obviously wrong instead of um sitting there and just going along with it like oh okay i'm just going to sit here um in a suffering state to, to quickly address it, you know, and either say something or, um, you know, it's almost like with like a garden, you know, if you plant a garden and you, and you, you know, go out there one day and you just like, you see the sprouts of all the little vegetables that you planted and it's like, oh, this is great. But then the next day you got there and there's all these weeds and shit in there too. You don't sit there and, and make up all these, these stories about the weeds, you know, you just go and you pluck them out. And, and it's the same kind of thing, you know, when, when maybe like a state of being, uh, starts to present itself, starts to be mirrored to you. Um, so much of this is, you know, it's a mirroring process, you know, showing you things, you know, ultimately within yourself, you know, but, you know, with that, there's parts of your, your yourself that are fucking obnoxious and annoying and doesn't need to be the, the continuation of, you know, and then these are the things to start to address, you know, it's like um, sometimes, and, and even with that, you're not feeling guilty when, um, when, you, when you feel however you feel. You know, if someone's being an asshole and you feel pissed off at them for being a mindless asshole, you know, you shouldn't feel guilty about that. They should feel guilty about that for, for being so mindless. You know, and, and until you make the, the unconscious behavior conscious to the other person, you know, if you're just going to sit there and just allow it, you know, and, and, and don't be surprised if it continues in this loop and, and it just plays out through different archetypes, different people. You know, if, if you, you have a hard time saying no to people because you you you. I don't know, fear the, the resistance or the drama that could happen, you know, start to, start to say no, you start to respect your feelings, even if the, you know, they're so-called negative feelings, you know, it's like, there, there's a reason for all of these things. And, and part of accepting yourself, you know, in part, you know, part of being at peace in the, in the present moment that's unfolding, you know, you're constantly defining who you are, you know, and so, um, and, you know, a lot of this is just an identity thing. And so when you're constantly um, dealing with bullshit situations, uh, bullshit, um, people treating you like bullshit, I mean, just anything, anything that's striking you as like, yeah, I, this is totally not who I am. And this is not what I want to be around. You know, this, any of that type of stuff, you know, without sitting there labeling it as like, oh, I'm judging this person. It's like, w w would you go out to your garden and you planted a carrot and you see something strangling the life out of the carrot? Would you make up a big story about it? Or would you just say, mm, let's, you know, make the carrot grow better. You know, so, you know, part of like the unfolding you know that that's happening as like the, like this business expands. You just, it's the same. It's the same thing. You know, it is. It's just different. You know, different shit to move around. Different responsibilities. It's like you know, people like you know, so you see like the, you know, I feel like an ATM machine at times. You know, just pulling money out and giving shuffling money around. And you know, does does that does that make me feel like I I made it? I feel no different than than I did before I started this playlist. You know, it's it's been just this evolving thing. The only thing that's changed is the level of complexity and difficulty. But you know, having more more and and it's been more stress and drama. It was easier, way easier when I was just doing the shit myself. You know, and and like uh, looking at that though as like okay, well. We got some a lot of resistance. We got there's one bridge crossed, you know, getting the guys. You know, now here's the next. You know, now I was trying to get everybody to vibe together in the same kind of a team kind of mode, with it without butting heads and and like um you know becoming you know I don't know difficult to be around each other type type energy you know and that's the thing with like kind of like construction and working with your hands. It's like um that I found at least, you know, that's way different than like, a, like an office scenario is like, you know, someone could like drop something on your toe and it was like, could literally break your toe, you know, and you could be like instantly triggered by like their mindlessness, you know, it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Are you not paying attention to, whereas like if you worked in an office and you raised your voice in a weird way, you might be sitting down in HR, just, you know, having a sensitivity training course, <laughs> you know? And so it's like, 
totally different kind of um, environment. And as like the boss, I guess, you know, it's like um, learning how these things are playing out, learning a lot about how to, um, I, I guess, be more, um, I don't know, I more you know, telling people what to do kind of, you know, I don't like telling people what to do. I just assume people know what to do. And I'm finding that to be something um, that's not true, at least in my situation at the moment, you know, but like not losing sight of it, you know, all, all this progress of like, you know, being mindful and everything else, you know, but looking at everything that's unfolding as just another level to level up in consciousness on some level. But, you know, looking at it, you know, if you're being like physically abused, if you're being like uh, tormented by some psychopath, you know, and I, don't, you know, this might rub people the wrong way, but, you know, and I get, you know, like biblically, you know, it's like turn the other cheek and shit, you know, but I almost look at that different, you know, it's like I, I look at that as like changing states, letting the, the old state go. You know, if someone's physically doing that to you, knock their fucking ass out, you know, and just, you know, if they're going to act like that, come at that same level and let it go, you know, and then just don't be around them. You know, it's like making up all these stories and all these like, oh, well. Let, let's, let's make up. I think a good analogy is like the heater analogy, which I've talked about in the past. You know, where it's like, um, you know, if you're in a cold room, as you're changing your state, you know, it's like you get that initial, almost like the opposite. You know, and it almost seems like it's part of this pattern where it's like, um, when when you change your state, it's almost like you're immediately confronted by the opposite. And, um, you know, in that, though, you know, you, if you're sitting there justifying the opposite, you're battling with it, strengthening it, you know, it, it just makes it just longer and longer that you're dealing with the upside down. You know, uh, when it's like, oh, I desire to, um, it was a good one. Oh, I desire just to be healthy and fit. You know, the next thing you know, you're just like, oh, it just, it just got some weird disease, some weird, you know, symptoms that nobody can pin down what's causing it and it's and it's just like the opposite of what you wanted <laughs> it's like well that's great you know i was going to focus on health the next thing you know my health went to shit great that's that's awesome and and it's like oh you know i'm going to focus really this year i'm going to i'm going to try to save some money you know or whatever and then like and it's like oh you get all these surprise bills oh congratulations all the money you saved is gone <laughs> you know and it's like you get confronted with the opposite and um yeah, and I've noticed that, you know, pretty frequently whenever, um, you know, I go for things, whenever I make new moves, whenever I try different things, a lot of times confronted with the exact opposite, almost to the point where it's laughable, where it's just like, okay, well, this, this obviously means that it's happening anyway, you know, but the thing of it is, it's like, if you're going to sit there and battle with, um, kind of the thoughts that go, oh, I got the, the opposite going on. And it's like, oh, what if this doesn't stop? And then, then you sit there and you make it worse by, for one, believing it's real. You know, even though it should start to be, you know, catch on. It's like, oh, like every time I try to move in a different state, I get confronted by the opposite of what I desire to be. You know, it's like, oh, I, I just want to be in a state of peace. And now it's like, oh, I'm in a state of complete torment. <laughs> you know, and so, um, you know, looking at that is like, okay, you know, and I get not judging things, you know, I've, I've said that you know, many times, you know, because you're judging yourself, you know, I get it, you know, but like, um, you yeah, know, sometimes it's just so just like, what the fuck? Come on, really? You know, it's like, how is this? You know, and especially when it's like coming from people that you think are reasonably intelligent, you know, it's like, really, you know, it's, it's like, you can't see that that's wrong. It's like, are your eyes broke? You know, it's like, really, you can't, you can't see that makes no sense and then you show it to him and you're the asshole for pointing it out it's like listen listen dude you got this reversed here if, if you you know and and this is all part of this learning thing and, and with that you know i might be coming off like a little strong then too you know but like yeah you know, I, don't, I don't even care anymore it's like i don't i don't care how i come off and i and i don't really um yeah i don't even really feel guilty about it anymore and i think that's a good thing because like so much of like maybe um, people pleasing is like a guilt. Like you feel bad, like you hurt somebody's feelings because you like set up boundaries, you know, even though it's like the other person, if they were a mindful human being, wouldn't habitually keep stepping over boundaries, you know? And it's, it's like, uh, you know, it's like, I shouldn't have to say no. You should just like automatically not push that boundary. It's, it's like, you know, and, and recognizing that more and more and not feeling guilty, but being like, you know, you're being the asshole for doing this. I'm not being the asshole for saying no. You're being the asshole for habitually pushing this boundary when, when it doesn't even need to be that way to begin with. You know, and, and looking at everything, even even these, these, these quote unquote negative states, you know, is like, 
you know, I, you know, having this idea of like, oh, you know, once, once I get to this heavenly state, I'll only feel this certain way. And then if I don't, then I might shudder and fear, um, maybe feel guilty, you know, for feeling this way. But, you know, looking at everything as being, you know, deliberate and part of this awakening process, it's like, okay, well, if everything's deliberate and God knows this is pissing me off, and so why does it keep happening? You know, and if it's like God's in control, so it's like, okay, well, then, 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 then what is the purpose of what's happening then? You know, other than, you know, looking at things as they come up, to let go, you know, there's a big part of the thing is just letting it go, you know, just, you know, whatever, because it's only ever now. So it's like you get these things that just are so fucking annoying, and it's just like, okay, I'm gonna let it go. Where in the past, if you don't let it go, it's just be in your mind all all day, all day long. You're thinking about this this um ridiculous situation that you've had to you know deal with. And then, and then, and then you know, then your piece is just completely shattered all day, over one thing that maybe was like a five minute ordeal, or maybe it's a, an habitual pattern with a specific, like a specific person. You know, it's like, um, you know, I, I and I get, you know, looking with, you know, the answers always within, you know, but it, but with that, you know, there there's some serious things within, you know, I guess myself, that that's like, um, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and, uh, you know say oh that that's that's okay that's okay everything's okay because i'm not going to judge anything and, and i don't think you know it's even you know judgment is a word you know we're, we're defining what these things mean but we're also defining who we are you know and if there's a, something that's obviously who you're not or or something that 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 strikes you in that way now i don't i don't feel one bit sorry for you know defining myself with that contrast you know is it's, it's um, you know, and I, th- I think that's a good way to start to redefine some of these these emotions. Um, and, and instead of like sitting there trying to run from these obvious things, you know, and, and like feel guilty or some s- sort of shame or fear, it's like oh, you know, God's going to be angry at me because I I've been in this really angry, you know, it's, it's completely fucking upside down situation. You know, why wouldn't you be angry? You know, it's, it's like um, come on, I mean, if you're being like every moment you know when you really focus on the present moment it's amazing you know how many things come out of the woodwork when you, when you're in a state that is just the opposite of what you are you know when you're when you're dealing with this mirror it's literally every every two minutes you know, or a minute i mean it's, it happens so regular when and you're just trying to just be in the present moment and, and not be fucking bothered you know it's, i just want to be i just want to sit in complete silence and that's it i don't i, I don't care if it, I, Five minutes, ten, maybe an hour. I just want to sit in silence. I don't, I don't want to even deal with the outside world at all. You know, when you get to that state where you don't desire anything, you don't want nothing, you, you literally just, I just want to sit in this in quiet, and it's like out of the woodwork every couple minutes. Thing, things are getting your attention. You know, trying to get your attention. Hey, pay attention to me. Hey, pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. It's like fuck off <laughs> you know so that's what i get to and it's like um yeah and, and like i said i might be like maybe kind of like in this like some sort of like a mood or something or some weird state i don't even care you know i just wanted to get on here and kind of just vent this out into the ether hopefully i didn't like drain anybody's energy in the process you know but like um you know looking at even these energy draining things you know instead of like you know coming up with a story of like oh you know i, I i'm just gonna sit here and endure i'm just gonna endure and it's like, you know, the present moment is the only thing that's real. And so whatever you're enduring, unless if, if it's physically happening to you, that's one thing. If you're in your mind, that's another thing. But if, if it's constantly being brought to you, you know, anger is a, is, a, is a good example. You know, because like part of anger, I guess to me, if I was going to define it, it feels like um, uh, an amplification of separation. It's like you are feeling very separate from your environment, from people, from circumstances and events. And um and with that, yeah, it's it it pisses you off, you know, it just does. And and like um, but the thing of it, the more angry you get, the more you see that separation, the more it amplifies it. And so you get in this feedback loop where you just get more and more and more and more, and this like even more situations start popping off. And it's just like, are you fucking joking? I mean, and, and it, it could just spiral you into a rage, even you know, because there. 
it really is you making the choice, the conscious choice is like, oh, uh, I'm experiencing this state. I'm seeing this state reflected big time more and more and going, okay, I'm to blame with this state. So I'm going to choose uh, peace. And, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and judge myself for feeling that state. God created that state. You know, every state is eternal and exists, you know, and you can, you can live and be and do whatever in, in any one of these states, you know, if you want, you know, and the thing of it is is trying to get more and more into the habit of making, uh, choosing what you actually want. And it's like, okay, well, you know, I spent the whole day just putting out one shit show thing after the, after the next, you know, and, and it's like, um, yeah, just do, do I want my tomorrow to be like that? And like Neville Goddard, you know, gives a technique, um, you know, something that, that's that's helpful at the end of the day, um, you know, revision. And right before bed, looking at your day, and if it was a complete shit show disaster, um, you know, so you don't continue that, um, that following day, you know, start to revise it, you know, and, and, and start to like think about how, um, how you would like that day to have gone. I mean, would you, you know, and I get, I get fed up with my phone just ringing and just notifications and like the, the, uh, the amount of, uh, people that, that, that want something for me. Um, it gets really draining and, um, you know, it's to the point where it's like, I, I gotta either just tell people I can't do it or, uh, no, or I just, you know, it just, maybe find somebody to answer my phone, you know, because I, it, it just literally drives me up the wall, you know, when I'm like trying to do something, um, and then I get a, maybe a robotic bullshit phone call. And it's like, I get a phone call every, every, like, it feels like every 15 minutes at times. And it's just like, it's, it's just, you know, trying to do that. It's just doing too many, too many things. And so, um, yeah, so looking at that and going, oh, well, what would I ideally want instead of my phone going off with a bunch of bullshit and just nonsense that I got to um, kind of deal with? Oh, well, it'd be, you know, ideal if you know, I, I got very little phone calls except from, you know, customers that, that need stuff done and, you know, training like the crew not to call me, <laughs> especially after after work um, and to text if it's just some some thing that can wait. Um, you know, and, and looking at that for the like, tomorrow being like, okay, well I had yesterday was completely, uh, a disaster with you know, the amount of phone calls, the amount of people that just want something from me, uh, the, uh, this and that and this and that. And then, so the next day, you know, I, what I'd like to instead is, um, to be more, um, I've realized, you know, how, how much I really enjoy just being alone. <laughs> you know, you know that, that's one of the things that, you know, I've kind of picked up on with like having, having this crew is like, I didn't realize how, how much I enjoyed, uh, being alone. Um, because, you know, uh, people are just fucking draining, you know? And it's like, I don't know if that's like, everybody feels that way, but I feel like that big time. It's just like, it's like, you know, figure out, you know, how to generate some of your own energy and stop just sitting here, just vamping off mine, you know? And, and, um, I think a big part of that, you know, is me saying no, maybe being an asshole on some level. It's like, I don't want to be, but it's like, um, I almost feel like, uh, yeah, I almost feel like, um, you know, if, if I don't know, I don't even want to go there, you know, it's cause I'm almost kind of in like kind of a shit mood and like, uh, but at the same time, I just want to kind of just get on here, give, give a kind of, um, I guess a, an update, <laughs> you know, but like, uh, you know, with that update, you know, it's like at the end of this week, you know, I got a handful of jobs. I should, um, I already got, um, uh, enough profit. I got all my guys, a payroll paid, you know? And so, um, wrapping up a uh, couple big, bigger things, you know, today's Wednesday, uh, two days, which will be, um, basically just profit days, uh, for me, you know, in the business. So that, that'll be, that'd be good. And so, um, yeah. And, and like, uh, yeah, I, I want to get the finances and, and stuff to show you guys just to, you know, show you how to like kind of flip, um, you know, flip this money, you know, to do, do your own business. You know, there's so, so many times, you know, it's like this big hang up with like, the money end of things. He's like, Oh, I, I'd love to do this, but you know, if I only had a bank roll to do it, you know, or a bank loan, uh, you know, whatever, man, it's like, you know, you don't really, you don't really have to go that route if you didn't want to, you know, and, um, you know, hopefully by sharing that, you know, more people, um, 
get you know go go into into the game and um really trying to keep that mindful too you know this, this is just a game not to take this shit so fucking seriously you know, because sometimes i can take it seriously you know i woke up the other day basically yesterday i think i got food poisoning or something because like i woke up I just got sick you know it's like didn't sleep and i had to work and then, you know i ended up going coming home just crashing and getting up this morning and then you know, today feeling a little bit better you know yesterday i didn't even eat really you know today i barely ate anything you know we'll see um you know i feel like it's already kind of passed you know so hopefully hopefully tomorrow it's like feel like normal again and like um yeah besides that you know uh you know i appreciate you guys listening and liking sharing subscribing but i think i'm gonna balance so you know have a good rest of your now everybody and uh god bless